All right, now let's see how we download R and R Studio, right? To download R, let's just go on to the CRAN network. That's the comprehensive R archive network. Log on to the site, go on to mirrors and search for your country, you know, whichever. Let's try India. Now you have two links from India and you can download your R for Linux, Mac or Windows, whichever the software that you're using the platform that you're using and you can click on this and that will basically and this is what you want to install the R for the first time and download R for Windows and that's how you download R the first time now again CRAN then mirrors search your network or search your country name and click on the links that are mentioned within the country name and download the same for your respective platform that you're using either Windows, Linux, etc. or Mac. To download R Studio, go on to the R Studio side and download the free version for the open source license of R Studio and you download that and it'll help you download. Now you need to choose which platform you want to choose from, you know, Windows, and then you have OS, then you have Ubuntu all of that you choose one of these and download whichever is suitable to you and uh, the same will be downloaded for you now that's how you basically download this uh, R studio desktop and R as well so just thought I would let you know how you go about doing that so that you don't face any trouble all right guys so there might be times when uh, you won't have access to the internet while in your class so we recommend you installing the packages that you would install in your business analytics program beforehand you know probably before the second class itself or better it is before the start of the course now I will let you know and tell you how to install these packages and which all packages needs to be installed and we will go through the installation of each of the packages and also in the end I will let you know how to attach these packages to a library so that you're able to use it in class with ease let's look into the first package that needs to be installed I've created a list for you it's reshape now let's install reshape in R and how would you do that now that's the command that you would put here reshape and you would press enter now it's installing into you you would get this stop sign which means it's still working and once you get this command here, once the R indicates you to enter your command here, that means it has installed uh, your software. Now reshape has been installed, right? Now let's look at the next software that needs to be installed. Uh, next after that, it's car. Firstly, also you can check if car is there in your library or software or no. Now, in case car wouldn't have been there, you can also write here as car select it and install it now it'll install it i had it installed already but it, it'll install and check it for you and install the car package that's how you would do that now you can similarly see the other packages and keep installing the same now the third package is sandwich now let's see if sandwich is available here now sandwich is available here but again we can again i to for you install sandwich right it will throw a command right install packages sandwich sandwiches now you type install sandwiches and R would install that for you and it will show that okay the downloaded bangry packages have been installed and checked now let's install the next package LM test now you have to install LM test and it will install your LM test right it's downloaded and it is now there in your LM test earlier it wasn't coming now it will be coming as LM test so you have testing linear regression models you have that with you so you have that in your library of packages now it's already installed four packages let's install this package called party it's already installed with us but let's do that and go ahead and install it again now party It'll throw a command installing packages it is in installing party packages right now the next package is R part okay let's see if this is there or no R part it is there but again just for you new R part dot plot plots not just the R part okay 
now it will install downloading it and it has now installed it right and show you the version and everything as well now the next package is a map according to our list right now let's see what we have in a map now right a map let's see if that is available or no now let's see you're saying it's not available right now if you want to install the same let's check it out if we have now here is the package you want to install it'll throw a command install packages a map and it'll install it for you now a map should be there now you can see the first is a map only and if we search also you now have a map with you that means it wasn't there earlier but it's now available to you now let's see the next package is a rules now let's see if that is available with us a rules is not available that means we need to go ahead and install a new one which is a rules now let's install this and because see all this installation would require you to use your internet it might be there the case that the internet is not available in your classroom that's the reason you would be required to actually install it uh, install all of these before coming to the class now uh, the next is a rules sequence now do we have a rule sequence no we do not now let's see if we want to install one of these a rules sequences now, that's the package we're talking about and we install one of these it gets installed now we will have a rules sequences with us now it's downloaded it's ready to use you can see it has been added to your packages which you have uh, downloaded now let's see how you want to you know attach a particular you know package now why we want to attach that because we want to use it from our library now for example let's see this package you want to attach it just say library a map or you can just do you know for example you want to attach a rules as a package now you want to attach you want to put library here and a rules okay it'll attach it for you right so it says attaching package a rules you can do it either ways you can do it by putting in a command or you can go to a particular you know package that you want to attach click on this and it'll attach it for you now this is what this video was all about you now know how to install a particular package the command is install dot packages and then the the package name that you want to install either that if you want to write the command or you know the install button that is available in R all right and you want to kind of attach the package just stay just tick it and it will attach itself all right this all right now in continuation to what we were installing and another few packages we'll just install four more packages the first one is t-series now in order to install that remember we did two steps either you can write down install dot packages and then write the package name or directly click on installed and search for the package that you want to install now t-series is the package that you would want to use in your business analytics classes you install that and the R would install the same similarly is another package forecast let's try and install this by the other way now let's try forecast okay now this is how also you can actually install your packages it has to be in double quotes and you would be able to install that now the part that we already installed LM test. We need to install GLM test, and we don't know if that is there or no with us. So let's check if we have GLM test. So we do not have GLM test. Let's install GLM test for us. Okay, now let's try and install the GLM package, the GLM graph. Now, in order to install that, we'll after we give the command install packages GLM graph, and it would install it. Now, the last package that we were looking at is in eq right this one now let's try and install this install packages in double quotes in eq and you press the command and r would do that for you now you would be able to find in eq here like that you just install forecast you just install glm graph so all this you need to have in your computers before coming to the class so that you don't face troubles with the connectivity issues if any in the classroom.